All right, episode three is here. We're diving into setting up the classes and kind of getting this app connected to the UI. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the app. All right, so we'll jump back in, <clears throat> jumping back into Android Studio here. Um, we will go ahead and work on the main activity first since that's the simplest one. So all of your activities or classes will extend um, the app compat activity. Um, and that basically just says, hey, you know, um, I believe all it does is <clears throat> make sure your app works with all, as many apps as possible um, on click listener. Yeah, and we'll get to that here pretty quick. So don't worry, it's, it's an error right now, but that happens. Um, so we want to pull in two buttons, right? So we're going to do private. Actually, we don't even need to do that. I think about it because we're just doing the view on click. Never mind. So we're going to do override um, protected void on on create bundle saved instance state super dot on create saved instance state and then we'll do set content view so this is where it actually points to the view file we created um, r dot layout dot activity activity main should take care of that so then what we're going to do is we're going to actually set up our button on click listeners utilizing this the view on click listener so we're going to say find view by id I'm going to say r.id dot um, register button um, set on click listener to this. So that's going to set it to the, the view that it's the main view. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing id dot login button dot set on click listener. Oops, this. And that should do that. So let's actually go ahead and set up on click real fast here so we're going to say let's make sure we have plenty of room here uh, at override public void on click view view switch view dot get id so what this is going to do is when you click on the screen, whatever thing you, whatever pieces of view you click, it's going to get that components ID. So we'll do a case or switch case statement here. So we'll do our, if it's R ID dot register button, and we'll we're going to say user sign up. So that it'll call that that method which we have not created yet, and we'll go break, and then we'll do case R dot ID dot login button we'll do user login break perfect nope oh, forgot the so that should take care of all that lovely all right so now we just need to create those two methods real quick so we've got user sign up that needs a few things it's private void that should do it okay cool so we're going to say um, start activity new intent this so where we are and where we're going so this is sign up so it'll be register uh, dot class all right perfect oops all right, so yeah, so if you click on the register button, it'll take you to the register um, class. So we're gonna do the same thing again, but for login. So we're gonna do user login, start, act, we can just, you know what, that's really the same, but different. So we'll just copy and paste, Use that, you do that, use that whenever you can, and this will be login, save, and that should set up our view here. So Real quick, we didn't. The one thing we didn't do in the first video was add these things to our manifest. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to add 
login and uh, register. So you don't need all that stuff in there for starters. You can get rid of that. You can get rid of this intent filter. And we're just going to say it's going to be main activity. It's going to be login. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's hold on. Let's stop for, for a second. I need to set up the actual login stuff here first. My bad. Forgets about that. Um. So let's jump into. So these won't. Extend. I mean, we can go. I guess probably won't hurt to just go ahead and hard code that. But um, yeah, so we just need dot login, which is not going to like that out of the gate because we haven't actually set up that class yet. So we will set that up here in a second. But we'll go ahead and hard code this. So let's jump over to login and let's get that set up real fast here. So we've got again extends app compat activity implements view dot on click listener and so this time we are actually going to set up a couple of variables out of the gate so we're going to do private edit text is email address and password we're not using those obviously yet so they're going to stay grayed out but just know that we are going to use them. Protected, void, on create. It's the same basically. Bundle, yeah. Saved instance state. State. Oof. Super dot on create. I will probably copy and paste for the last one. Saved instance state. And we'll do set content view r dot layout dot login. Activity login. Okay, so then let's go ahead and connect these variables here, these two, to the actual um, fields that they'll be will be connecting to. So we'll say email address is equal to find view by ID r dot id dot edit text login. No, I'm sorry, edit text user email and then we'll do password is equal to find view by id r dot id dot edit text user password all right and then lastly we also have to find our button there actually we need both buttons right you actually got the login button and the yeah yeah that's right so we need both um so it's, it's two buttons not just one ID dot um, it was log user login button dot set on click listener this and then find view by ID r dot ID dot um, login back button dot set on click listener this again yes same as these. Um, and then we'll go ahead and set up our on click for the two buttons at override and we'll do public void on click view view switch view dot get id oops case r dot id dot um, user login button. We'll say user login and then break. And we'll do case r.id. login back button. Go back. Break. All right. So we got that set up. So let's go ahead and set up our methods again. So we'll, we'll set the easy one up, which is um, private void go back 
and that's literally just going to be what we already did in the in the main activity, which is just the start activity. And we're going to go back into log log in here, and we're going to say, but it's going to go to main activity. Save that. And then do, 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 do. Then we'll do the next one, which will be a little more in depth um, at some point. Um, use our login. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in this video or the next one, um, but we'll, we'll get there one way or the other. So user login is just the other one. So that's where a lot more of the stuff is going to happen. Um, so we'll go ahead and save that for now, but we have login working now. So let's do the same thing for register. So we'll do extends. Uh, we'll do extends um, app compat activity and then we'll do implements because we're going to do it again on click listener okay so this time I am literally going to copy and paste this this part basically all of this real quick um, register Boom, boom, okay. So the only difference is we're gonna say private edit text, first name text, last name, actually, yeah, name text, email address text, and password text. So when I set up our variables there, so we'll set up um, our two buttons. So these will, we can basically keep this and just do, um, so it's gonna be user register button or register user button. Yeah, it's good to know what you're talking about when you're doing it. Um, and then register back button, perfect. Okay, and then we need to initialize the text views like we did before. So we're going to do first name text is equal to find view by ID r dot ID dot um, edit text first name. And we'll do last name text is equal to find view by ID r dot ID dot um, last edit text last name. Forget the edit text part. Email address text is equal to find view by ID, r dot ID, edit text, user, edit text email, I think. And then password text is equal to find view by ID, r dot ID dot edit text, edit text, password, I believe. And doo -doo -doo -doo. let's go ahead and set up our on click listeners real fast here. So we've got at over override public void on click view view view. We're gonna do switch. We're gonna do view dot get ID. I'm going to say case r dot id dot um, register back button. We'll say um, go back because we set that other method as private. We can do that without them colliding. Oops. Forgot to use this case r dot id dot um, register user button register user break. That should take care of that part. So let's go ahead and set up those. So we've got private void, void, go back. This looks just like the, lo the login Java did. Literally the exact same because they're both going back to the main activity. Boom, done. And then last but not least, we'll set up private void um, register user. We'll save that. Let's see where we're at time-wise. We're at about 15 minutes. 
Is there anything else that needs to happen here? So that's it. Uh, very basic. We just kind of connected the UI. Really, you'd kind of do all that all together, but I, I just didn't want to make a bunch of 30 to 45 minute videos. And, you know, apparently it helps with the algorithm. I don't know. But I do know what does help with the algorithm is hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, commenting, whatever. Just tell me what you're liking, what you're not liking. I am always open to feedback. Again, if you ever have anything you're like, ooh, you could do it better, please throw that in the comments for everybody else. And then for myself, you know, it's it's helpful. I'm not in the day to day anymore. So anything you any information, feedback you guys give me, I will definitely take and use. So I appreciate it. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Take care of yourselves, keep coding, keep, you know, just believing in you. Take care.